on a bit of a move here. That's a few days now she's been going up. Somebody's holding it up. Or shorts just aren't found in it. They're probably collecting chairs. So we're going to see a big in your face day, huh? I know everybody's holding their breath. They're going, oh boy, here we go. It's coming. We're going to get a beat down. But uh, I, this is the hour chart. That our size is getting up there. I say I think they're gonna they're gonna stall it out. We might go up a little bit, come down a couple days, go up a little bit more, come down a few days. They're gonna stall it out to after Labor Day here, and then maybe we'll see a push. Shorts got to cover eventually. But it's nice to see it going up for sure. We need something, some kind of news or something. My gosh. It's just little by little just creeping up there. And they got, there's, you look at uh, across the internet, there's all kinds of articles, you know, Fubo's a buy and. You know, it's a good deal right now. And then you see an article that's like, you know, stay away from it. It's like the plague. And, you know, um, even if all the meme stocks go on a run, stay away from these couple and Fubo's in there, you know. And it just, somebody's paying a whole lot of money to try to keep people from grabbing this. But you know what, you know what I think it is? And... I know some people are going to go, oh boy, conspiracy theory here, but these institutions and head fund, hedge funds and everything, you know, all the big wigs, for decades, they've been used to um, run it up, retail buys, you know, they sell it off to retail high, and then, oh, yank it down, and retail sells off, and they buy it cheap. And they've been doing this for decades. And now that retail is getting a lot better with um, options. You know, people are learning to set stop losses. They're watching which options they're buying. There's a lot of people that are learning to buy options. I mean, like normally what I do is I buy it and sell it in the same day. You know, a lot of people are learning to do that with options and Buy them far enough out that you got leeway there going one way or the other. And, you know, so, and yeah, I mean, I, I got stuck with a couple on Fubo for last week and the week before because I didn't have the stop on them. And then I held them and then got shafted. But, but uh, you're always going to have those couple. But, you know, a lot of times I'll get stopped out on them, but it's for a profit. So, it's still a win. And, you know, that nothing drives these hedge funds and stuff nuts than retail getting out with a profit, you know? So, but I think they're just, the stock market's in chaos. I mean, yeah, you get all this bullshit with China and, you know, inflation and all this, you know, crazy stuff, but... You know, I think it's they're struggling. They're struggling with the, the old algorithms and people are used to them. Retail traders are getting smarter and it's harder for them to dump them off on retail. And then when they try to drag it down, retail's not selling. They're buying more. So now they have no clue what, what to do. They have no clue at all. You know, so... I think a lot of that, and this is just my personal opinion, I think that has a lot to do with it. They're trying to figure out what we're going to do about retail being educated. So, and, you know, even with, look at, can you imagine if retail had all the information that these bigwigs have? What if we got, you know, 
short interest and all this stuff on demand. Like right same day, you know, how much better off would we be? We know where everything sits. No, they're they use that to their advantage. They they have failure to deliver. They have, you know, oh, we'll send so many shares. There's this big scam about, you know, making that circle overseas or something and then coming back and it gives them two extra days for failure to deliver it or something. I, I don't know, whatever. It's just a bunch of bullshit, you know. All these little loopholes that they have and stuff like that. And, you know, how many times market makers trading shares back and forth, you know, covering somebody's covering something they have to cover and then they sell them back and then you got off exchange stuff and you know and they still can't beat retail so yeah yeah that's that's what i think a lot of it is is they're trying to find different ways to spoof retail out you know and uh it's not working you know they should just they should just eliminate off exchange and trade it trade it on exchange. Yeah, you get some bad drops when institutions want to sell, but you get some huge upswings too when they buy. So they should just get rid of the the off exchange shit. You know? All this dark full abuse and the greedy bastards just want more and more and more. But they're, they're gonna find out they're gonna lose in the long run. Uh, that's you can bet your ass on it eventually they're gonna lose so because they're too greedy you know how many as a retail trader boy I'm just talking to you today because I, I was distracted the last weekend here the last couple end of the day the last last week but um how, how many times yourself I mean you got to be honest with yourself you know and I've done it so many times it's ridiculous. Price goes up, I'm making good profit, and I want a little bit more. Oh, if it just gets to this, I'll sell. You know, just gets to this. Before you know it, whoa, they cram it down, and I end up taking a loss. You know, I get stopped out or something for a loss. And I could have made big bucks, but I got greedy. Well, these institutions and shorts and everything else are doing the same damn thing. You know? They're getting greedy, and they're going to get their asses handed to them. And especially in Fugo, because this isn't one of those small makeshift company out of your dad's garage or your mom's basement or something. You know, they actually got something going. Now, do they have competitors coming up? Sure, but, you know, it's legit. They're not driving this Fugo out of business. I mean, if anything, Fubo will get bought from by somebody else or, or whatever the case may be, but they're not driving them out of business. You know, Fubo is still doing everything they're doing, running the business, blah, 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 regardless of what, irregardless of what the stock price is at. You know, they're still making headway and working towards goals and, and stuff like that. So, um, did you see, I saw, read an article about NVIDIA buying back shares and a bunch of companies to follow follow suit so these companies are starting to fight back with this bullshit too so that's that's gonna be interesting to see so well let's see what happens this week with fubo it should be interesting let's see if we get a beat down here if this gets too carried away you can almost expect something's gonna happen that was four Four days, was it four days up? If we look at the day chart here. My internet has just been terrible lately. I'm on a, a wireless thing and, but I got, uh, I'm getting fiber hooked up. So maybe the middle of next month, so be like having cable oh I'm pumped for that because uh my mom got it down the road and it's fast it's fast it's like almost like cable you gotta remember I'm in I'm in upper peninsula in Michigan you know out in the sticks yeah but uh 
Yeah, that's why we had one red, one red day there. There wasn't a lot. I mean, it's a little bit of an upswing, but it's not ridiculous. Not like we had five green days in a row or something. It'd be nice for them to break across this 226 and then hold it. That would be nice. I'd like to see that. Probably going to see a lot of it like this. You know, something like this, we're probably going to see right here. I don't see them trying to push it under two again. I really don't. It cost them a lot trying to get that under two. And this bullshit about short shares at $45 million, yeah, I don't believe that for a second. That's a crock. I like to know when the hell they covered. Like, it's only been nine nine million volume. Come on, I I don't know. I uh, it's just me. It's just me. I I don't believe those numbers. So I don't care if it's from Ortex or Fintel or whatever. I just don't believe those numbers. They're such lying bastards. Hey, everything swindled. You gotta look at what you see, you know? We didn't see a lot of room for shorts covering 5 million shares. No, it's possible. I mean, obviously it's possible. They can cover a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, you know? But, all right. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We'll see what this does tomorrow.